The standard softwork schedule only includes plants based on their type, for instance trees and shrubs. When you're working with mixes it can be helpful to extract these out into the schedule separately. As an aid to this we can do this through the schedule style. If I double click on the schedule and go to the ellipsis in the top corner here this allows to modify the current style. The top right hand corner we've got an option which says add mix groups. Click on this it will actually modify the current style and scan through the drawing to show you all the mixes currently in use. This will now add those groups to the schedule style. They are added automatically to the bottom of the list. If I over apply that now, close that, the schedule now shows all the mix groups in the drawing and it also leaves any plants that aren't part of a mix separately out. So we've got at the moment the sorbus here and the Prunus here still separated out from the other groups. By default the schedule groups that are added from a mix only include number, abbreviation, specification, species specification and density. To add new groups we can just go to the option to add a different, let's say we're going to add software specification Let's say we're adding pot size. I don't think these have got pot size, but I can go to multiple. I can decide which group I want to add them to and where. So if I want to add the pot size to column four, I just go to, I want to add it to column four. And that's added pot size to all the columns. However, one thing to be wary of, when you make changes to the drawing or add new mixes, the schedule doesn't automatically update. So if, for instance, I go to modify specification, let's say I want to replace ground cover one with another mix. I'm going to do a global substitute. I'm going to replace that with ground cover four, which is a simpler mix. And what we'll see is this mix here, for instance, will update to show the difference in plant, plants in the mix and also here, so two, two changes in the drawing, in fact three changes in the drawing. That mix doesn't automatically appear in the, in the schedule, so mix group ground cover 4 isn't shown and ground cover 1 has disappeared. So what I have to do now is double click on the schedule and just rerun the command. This will scan the drawing again, it recognises that there's been a new mix group added which is ground cover four. And again, that gets added to the bottom of the schedule. If I want to add into this pot size, I can do it individually. And I can move this, I should move that to the right. I can move the actual group itself up through the schedule. So if I wanted to include it below the other ground cover mixes, just move that one down apply that and there's our mix group added separately. So be wary when you use the command the schedules don't automatically update and you have to keep each time you add or modify a mix you need to go to the schedule style and select this button here. For this reason it's often encouraged that you do this towards the end of the project where most of your planting has been already defined.